Hello out there. So, I uh, just got some of my antenna stuff in and I thought I would talk about it a little bit. Um, I'm still waiting on my VHF high antenna, but my UHF antenna and amplifier came in in the last day or so. Um, so I thought I would talk about those. Um, I guess first of all I got the Channel Master CM4 228 HD UHF antenna, which is going to be my primary antenna um, that'll go on my attic. Um, this is also known as a DB8 or double bow tie 8 bay antenna. I actually built a antenna this summer out of parts I had laying around that's sort of like one half of this or a DB4 antenna. And that was one of the reasons I bought this one because I kind of know what to expect. Um, also, I bought this particular one rather than some of the others of the same type, other brands of the same type, uh, be mainly because uh, most of the other ones that you find, they'll actually put two transformers on, one on each half, sometimes so that you can point them in different directions, which usually doesn't work out well or is at least really complicated. Uh, but this one, they actually, I'll see if I can get closer here on the pictures so you can see, they actually put uh, signal bars across here to join the two halves of the antenna and then they tap right off the middle with a single transformer so there's less loss that way. Um, so it'll perform a little bit better hopefully than the ones that cost about 20 bucks less. I figured it's probably worth it. I'm going to have it for a long time if all, all works out well. Um, so the next time you see this, hopefully it will be installed in my attic. Um, the other thing that came in is my RCA amplifier. Let's see. Here's a picture of the box. It's a model uh, TVPR AMP1Z. Um, and it actually is not just an amplifier, but it's also a diplexer, which they don't really make a big deal out of. But you can see here that it's got, if my focus will work, you, here you go, you can see that it's got separate VHF and UHF inputs and a combined output. You can also put in a combined VHF, UHF signal into the UHF jack if you flip the switch in here, uh, if you have a separate diplexer. But for 25 bucks, that's less than either a diplexer or an amplifier from other people are individually so I thought hey I'll give this a shot see how it works um, and I'll talk about how this works a little bit um, this part here that I'm holding gets mounted near your antennas and uh, the output of your antennas goes into each of these as appropriate and then this lead goes to the rest of your house now you see that it actually says output slash power, and that's because this requires power. And the way that that works, let's see if I can get it out here. There's a power supply module. I can get it open. I haven't opened this part yet. There's a power inserter, I guess is what they're sometimes called. As you can see, it's got um, coax in and out, and then it's got a wall board here and I think it actually has oh it's a dedicated hardware connection so this plugs into the wall and this guy inserts power onto the uh, RF line and runs it up to the amplifier and then the amplifier sends the amplified signal back down the same line to the rest of your house and so because uh, power is running between these two guys, you don't really want to have any splitters in between them if you can help it. So this will go in my attic and I'll run the cable out of my attic and then somewhere before I introduce any splitters, I'll have this guy in line with the signal and then I'll have any splitters or anything else I'm gonna hook up and, and TVs and whatnot. And this, I think they said it does like 12 dB on VHF and 22 on UHF um, and the other thing to know um, 
is that amplifiers they boost all of the signal including the noise so what they don't really they're not really going to magically make a station that you're getting interference with come in better what they're going to help with is those weak stations uh, whether it's not interference they're just weak or far away and it will help uh, raise the signal to where your TV it'll be above your TV's uh, threshold for being able to pick a signal out um, the other thing that they're good for is if you're gonna hook it up to a splitter that goes everywhere and you know to a bunch of different TVs or whatever in your house it'll get the signal boosted up to counteract some of the loss from the splitters so um, yeah I'm planning to to have a separate VHF and UHF antenna so I need this for the diplexer aspect but um, the amplifier stuff will hopefully come in handy too. Um, oh, the other thing I wanted to mention about the uh, UHF antenna is that the there was an older model of this, the CM4228 with no HD on the end. It's been around for a really long time, decades. Uh, the difference between and it's well regarded and the difference between that one and this one is that uh, over over time and with the digital transition the FCC has actually chopped channels off the top into the UHF range I think it used to go up to 80 something and now it goes to like 52 or something like that and so they were able to tweak the design of the antenna uh, to take advantage of the fact that it's working needing to work over a narrower range of channels uh, in, in order to optimize for that new range and get a little bit better gain out of it. Uh, if you have the old one, people say it still works fine. It's not a night and day difference, but if you're buying a new one, you may as well get one that's appropriate for what's out there now. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping this weekend to get uh, these two parts installed in my attic and start testing them out. And then I think my VHF one just shipped, but it's not Amazon Prime, so it might take a week or two to get here, and I'll have to probably make a separate trip up. The nice thing about that is that I'll be able to uh, mess around with seeing what this antenna here can actually do in the VHF high range. They they mentioned that it can do some VHF high, but it's really not designed for that. So I'm not planning to depend on it for that. Obviously, I'm buying a dedicated VHF antenna, but hey, I figured I might as well try it out since I'll have the time, hopefully. Um, so I'll see you next time.